Tell us a little bit about why you um, feel that it's important for the letters to be published. I think that the letters of Ernest Hemingway, covering the period that it does, is a wonderful record for the first, well, first two-thirds of the 20th century. People write letters, but very seldom do you get someone with great literary talent writing letters about a period. And I think it's very similar to Dr. Johnson's letters. It's a, it's a real landmark of history. And although, of course, letters don't have the literary value that the, uh, the work of a writer. And Hemingway originally said that he didn't want his letters published, but thinking back on it, I think that was a, a mistake on his part. I think that his letters are one of the great records of the first two-thirds of the 20th century. I, in fact, I know of no, well, perhaps Winston Churchill, but I don't know. I've never heard of a collection of his letters. Mm -hmm. But I think this is on the same level. Uh, Hemingway didn't play the same role in history that Winston Churchill did, but he was a very, very good observer. Mm -hmm. And so I think more than anything else, this is a work of history. And I'm very grateful both to you and to Cambridge University Press for undertaking this project because it looked for a while as though just portions of his letters were going to be done and, and uh, to have the whole works done is just very, very, I'm very, very grateful that this has happened.